Sitting right on her head, though, honey. Hey, Mom, look! Good girl. What? I am so done with multiples. Three last time and four this time. Five, Bella. Really? <laughs>this is actually one of our favorites too just just like goat she's getting really skinny she's been getting skinny the last couple months but when they're pregnant I can't so she like quite likely has made Vizna or she certainly looks like she's wasting um, and they can look like this and they're still eating and they're still drinking they're doing all the things I just I couldn't put her down when she had lambs however I doubt she has milk by the sounds of her lambs so I'm gonna get them all dipped up and feed this one and I'm actually gonna see if those lambs want a bottle too because I couldn't get any milk out of mum. However, these lambs are dry, so quite likely they were born like late last night. I should have been out here earlier, but Jess had insomnia last night. So she woke up really, really hungry, tried to feed her, and so I've been up and down the stairs to her bedroom probably like eight times already this morning. Uh, she's at the point now where she's really hungry. She's got stomach pain because she's hungry But every time she tries to swallow She gags and almost throws it back up. So now I'm worried like now she wants food and she can't get it down <laughs> So I made her another smoothie and I actually went to town late last night to get some frozen fruit because I'm like if we run out of that Like that's the only thing that's keeping her going right now Anyway it's been a long morning already, and I just got out here. <laughs> really? You having a baby? Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is when the juggling act is hard. Mark is out in the field right now. Jess just texted me uh, needing some food, and I have two ewes lambing. So I have the one that was lambing just before I started feeding. She hasn't laid down to start pushing yet, which sort of concerns me because maybe it's not positioned the right way, but also she just could be uh, like a slow laborer. And this one just laid down and started to push. So I am going to let them be and let them be sheep and they're gonna do it on their own. I have faith, I have faith in you. I'm gonna go parent my own child. <laughs> All right, I'm back and this mom's finally pushing. Good girl. Where's the other one? Where is the other one?
got a one? Are you only gonna have one? That's okay. We will take one. Good job. Now she probably could have done that on her own. But once I get a, a foot pulled out that far and I can feel the head, I just sort of help the head out. But I'm letting mom still push. Um, and she literally, she's smart. She was sitting up like this so gravity would help her. I don't know if she's doing that on purpose, but I'm like, if she is, very smart. Um, yeah, she was like, the lamb was literally coming out, but she was sitting, <laughs> sitting right on its nose. So um, as soon as she sort of repositioned, the head popped right out. So she did well. I was just concerned because she's been in labor since I got out here at like 7.30 and it's uh, almost 10. So it goes to show you sometimes labor can take a while and everything's perfectly normal. And any other time if I left her that long, it would it would have been backwards or um, malpositioned or the head was cranked back. But in this case, it was perfect and I'm fine with that. Piper, that is not your playpen. All right, where's that other one? We've got one lamb and one that's lamb, and they both love the lambs. labor. <laughs> Hello, little mama. You got more than two in there. Pretty small. <laughs> That's all. Is that all you got? Okay. Hi. You're gonna be a single friendo. It's pretty small for a single, but you're a first time mama. And you don't have a huge udder, so this is a blessing. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> So gentle. You want to see your mom? Here, mom. Oh, you're so sweet. What are you doing? What? That's a water bag. Mama, break your bag. Break the bag.
There you go. Whoa. Good girl. Right to the face. Got a girl. Good girl. very yellow it's meconium so she has been in labor for a while and the lambs must have pooped in their water bag just poop all over me but she'll get them cleaned up and you'll never know like later or tomorrow so this is the you this morning when I was helping I can't remember one of the first ones uh, after I was feeding and I had to help Jess. This was the other you I was looking for. And she's just lamb now. So it's like, what time is it? It's like 2.30. So I saw her first sort of acting suspicious at like nine and it's 2.30. So sometimes it take a while. Here I am talking. And... Hi, you made quite the entrance. Yes, you did. Can I check mom for you? Oh, mom. Good. Now, the only thing is her udder is low. So they're going to have to get down on their knees to reach it. Mm -hmm. You have another one in there? Probably not. No, that's it. The tree. You're our first triplet today. I didn't want that. We were doing really good with twins. I've decided today, I think from now on I want twins. Twins is like a whole new world. Do you want some food? Let me dip you and then we'll get you fit. Good girl, Mom. Well, good for you. Hi, cutie. Good mom. Oh my gosh, I haven't like sat up here in a while. Look at my doggies. <laughs> Lucy's been a bit sucky. She's got a... Seems like she's limping a bit on her front leg, so we're a little concerned. I thought since I had a second, I would update you on numbers as to how many lambs have been born so far. Uh, this is as of yesterday. It's looking like we have 30 lambs so far out of 11 ewes and that's before today's craziness of lambs 2.7 lambs per ewe it's usually my groups that i seed her i don't have the crazy multiples like i do with the natural group uh typically these groups aren't quite as prolific as the march group thank god i cannot handle triplets and quads like today and tomorrow not having carissa and i've been in in the house all day uh, helping out with Jess. Mark is done in the fields now and uh, it's been stressful on that end too because he's been trying to time fertilizer and and herbicides based on rain and we have not had rain. We haven't had rain since um, three and a half weeks? Three for sure and that one week was scorching hot so uh, things have started to 
fry. <laughs> At least definitely stopped growing and a lot of our knolls are looking pretty tough. He's been sort of stressed about that and Jess, uh, but as of today I think I can easily pass the baton on to him. He is going to take over being the main caregiver of Jess as of next week and quite honestly after the hospital visits this week I was like I'm full. I cannot even imagine what is going on through Jess's head right now. She is She's been so ill this week. I haven't shared it wholeheartedly on here just because I haven't really had time to sit down and talk to you guys, but it is the sickest I've ever seen her in my life. And the, the scariest part of all this is like, is this going to be how it is for the next 10 weeks? Because it's, it's awful. Yeah, so I've been in and out of the house all day and I finally got a hold of this nurse that's supposed to come today to give her an IV of, of fluids. Uh, so I think what's gonna happen, I think she's coming between five and six tonight. It's a four hour feed, I guess. I think what she's gonna do is train us how to do it at home and then for the next three days we can do it. Hopefully with getting her hydration back up, she'll feel a little better, but right now between the white blood uh, injections and all these drugs, she's just, she's just done. She, she can't, she, she can't even swallow now without wanting to throw up which she did do today too. Happy that I have Mark now, like sort of full time to help me. Whereas uh, as of before today, I just haven't had that. And we planned it that way. Like I knew I'd be lambing starting this week, hardcore. And he figured he the, the heavy would be done um, in the field. So hoping for rain, we're supposed to, there's like a 90% chance of rain tomorrow. Um, and we need it. If we don't get it tomorrow, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's, I just, I don't even have room to stress about it right now in my brain, but. Uh, I'm, I have hope and faith that we're going to get some rain here. So yeah, that's the numbers. I think so far I counted, we have about 15 lambs that have dropped today. So that's going to put this up a bit more. Um, I'm thinking our numbers are just going to be a lot more reasonable this go around making lambing feel so much more enjoyable and doable. Like today I was just like twins, twins from now on. I'm so done with multiples. This has been nice. It's been a nice pace. You're gonna fall off your bed, Pipes. <laughs> make you feel better anyway. Hopefully. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I can barely see. It's sleep in my eyes. It looks like two mamas have lambs. And they both have two. It, I, there's a stillborn sort of halfway between both of them, so I'm not sure if she had that one or the little dark faced one had it. I kind of think she had it because it looks very similar to these guys. Anyway, we'll figure that out, I think. We'll try, we'll guess. My lammies from last night are doing okay. I didn't film it um, because I was working over here. I was doing, I was bedding them and, and watering them before I was going home. And she was making a lot of noise, the mom that lamb last night, but there was nothing happening. I'm like, you're not gonna do anything. And then I, I looked and there was that, a great big water sack coming out, very similar to the one we saw yesterday afternoon. And I'm like, okay, well, it's still fully enclosed. It'll be all right. And I'm like, oh, I better just see if she'll stand still for me. And she did, and I was able to break the bag. And the baby was covered in like a goopy, goopy uh, water bag and like just goop all over her. And it took a while to get a breath. And even when we did, she seemed a bit off, but she's up this morning. 
and and I had a tuber last night too so I was like oh it, well this is my last resort if it works it works it looks like it works she's on mama oh that makes me so happy If you guys remember, in my last lambing session, my very first lamb, was it my very first lamb of the corn? I think it was. Uh, the mom was so aggressive in licking it that she licked the little baby's feet right off. Well, this morning, I noticed this one is huge, beautiful, nothing wrong with it, gorgeous. And I was like, oh, mama's after your tail, because the tail is like not off. And then I looked a little closer and I'm like, oh, it wasn't standing. He wasn't standing. And this mom was trying to chew off the feet of this lamb too. Now, I don't think she got, well, she didn't get as far as the other one. The other one literally didn't have a hoof at all. Um, now, this one, they, it looks like the pads are still there. Like, if you can tell, when they're born, their pads are like paper thin. They're so soft. So it looks like she's been... Like, she's been gnawing at it um, to the point where it's bleeding. So I have gauzed her all up, him all up, gauzed him all up, and then um, I actually put some splints on the bottom so it went a little bit further than his feet to get him to hopefully walk on it. So it's he's walking on the splint, not on his feet, but... I still haven't seen him stand, so I'm gonna put him back with mom, but I'm afraid she's gonna wanna chew off these bandages. Now, he also drank like half a bottle, so obviously um, he hasn't been up to drink, so I hope we're not too late getting claustrum in him after all this. Will she stand, buddy? She just standing, no, it's okay, you're just standing on the foot, see? Does that hurt his back? Yeah! Okay. Try again. Try again. Try again. Try again. It's okay. That's it. I think he's just scared to stand on them, but he, we got him standing. It's wobbly. Hey, buddy. Are those gonna work? Bella, are you only having one? Hi. I think you probably have more in you. Oh, I think I found another one. Are you Bella's baby? <laughs> Here you go. Do you have more in there? Oh, there's more babies down there. There you go. Guys, it's tiny. Bella, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, you got another one in there. Three last time and four this time. Backwards. Two backwards. I think that's it. Are we good with milk? Yep. Good. Four, Bella. Wow. Hi, 
Hi, Willow. <laughs> Feisty babies, good to see. Stop stealing, Mama. Oh, there's another one. Are they all three yours? You belong over here with your mom. There you go, Mom. Yep, there you go. Oh boy. Bella just laid down. So now I'm wondering if she's having another baby. I think she is. Bella, oh my goodness gracious. Five, really? One, two, three, four, five. Holy moly. Five, Bella. Really? All right, we have got not, no less busy. And I think we have three more lambing right now. Two down there. And I think I saw one down there. Or there. I don't know, I saw three. So we've had a lot of lambs in like the last hour. Sorry I haven't talked to you guys. It has been crazy. It's been so busy. We got another one in there. Good girl. You left, you left something.
right there. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Boys. Carissa loves this view. She thinks she's very pretty. I agree. She'll be a Suffolk, Suffolk Rito. Mama's having another one. Both yours? Good.